Okay, thrips are another major problem for growers in general. This is kind of some of the damage they can leave behind. This kind of stippling to the leaves here, it looks like someone took a little rough sandpaper and kind of scratched the leaf surface, it is common uh, thrip damage. This is a pretty severe case pictured here. Now, uh, when we're identifying thrips, they're tiny slender insects, and they tend to jump since they're poor flyers. You can see how a couple look here, um, very small, very thin, kind of this tannish kind of yellowish coloration almost see through to some extent uh, and they don't travel very far uh, because they can't really fly that well uh, but they can kind of jump around if disturbed they typically like to be found in places that are low light now where to look for them when i check the undersides of the leaves because they do like that low light or within the protection of flowers plants with infestations will be evident by the presence of tiny black specks which are the feces of the actual thrips and when you're going through and inspecting them you do want to get close and look this person uh kind of shading from the sun this is an onion field but looking deep down in that area where uh the light is kind of minimal uh, that stippling we can see a zoomed in version of it here and this is kind of how it looks a little bit on the more macro scale now how to prevent them and this is kind of a zoomed in version and this is again how small they look in relation to the leaf you want to inspect incoming plants or cuttings you want to isolate thrift infected plants if they are identified because they can easily kind of be cross-contaminating other um, plants you may have nearby a weed free, weed free barrier of at least 10 feet around the greenhouse may help discourage thrips entry having that 10 foot buffer kind of reduces the chance that you're going to have a high population very close to the greenhouse it would be very easy for them to come in and infect your plants you also want to dispose of plant de debris in tightly sealed containers if you do identify them uh, you don't want to be just throwing them away in open containers because they could breed in there and get picked up by um, vents or other carriers to get into the facility how to control them well due to resistance of many insecticides more growers are using biological controls or thrips there's commercially available natural enemies including predatory mites uh, beetles and insect killing nematodes and fungi that can be used so a wide variety of biological bi biological controls <clears throat> are available for thrips the beneficial insect killing nematodes that are used against fungus gnat larvae may also be effective against thrip pupae in growing media so it kind of gives you that dual action control could link to a youtube visit if youtube video if you want to see it on action there and also a document here for more information this again shows you the thrip getting infected here with biological controls which are using at greater rates now that there's a build-up to resistance to common insecticides